Tiwi, uh, Ngati Chuera, Chapu. Uh, the man of Ngatuna is our Ropu. Uh, Ian is a member, and we have some more members behind us. Uh, Tony from Maniapoto, Tarui, Tainui, Hera, uh, Wanganui, or Ngati Manoa, <laughs> Wanganui, Charlie. <laughs> and we're here to support our Kotero from Kokopu Trust. Uh, the Manonga Tuna is our national body that was asked for at the Wanganui Hui. Uh, and um, it took a while, but we had meetings, and we were invited to meetings, and anyway, it fell on us. So we, we accepted it because we could see the what, what could be done here. Yeah. So it's just looking at our worldview and that prioritizes the, the aspirations of the environment. Uh, the long Pantuna, I can't see over there, it's too far away. <laughs> it's endemic to New Zealand, you all, all know, it's the largest eel and there was a guy, was it this, yesterday, that said he had seven, uh, seven kilos a tuna. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you, you know all this, but what we're, what we're about is um, how do we enhance our tuna? Uh, we, don't, we don't have the audacity to think we can write a management plan and manage them, because tuna will not be managed by anyone. They go where they want to go, when they want to go, and they don't care what we want. <laughs> they have no Yes, yeah, so, you know, it amazes me that we think we can write a plan and manage them. Yeah, they don't give a shit about us. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's important to us. Those pictures you can see is the Pahurua from Awawa. Uh, that's how they caught a lot of the tuna. Um, but, you know, you know all this stuff. So no need to repeat it. I mean, hell. How many, to how many ways can you tell the same story? <laughs> I mean, there's only one story. <laughs> um, but this is important to us. Uh, Tony's on our back all the time. What are the pressures that impact on our tuna? Um, Non-fishing pressures. Uh, habitat loss is probably one of the biggest. Uh, we're probably the next. <laughs> well, we are. I mean, <laughs> we don't care how many is in the river as long as we can catch them for feed when we want to feed. <laughs> and um, yeah, so there's a big educator uh, process to go through. We have to educate ourselves before we can educate anybody else. Uh, the barriers to migration, we know what those are, dams, culverts water pumps. I mean, Tony's always on my case about, he reckons 500 ton of eel get minced up through water pumps. That's more than we catch, Māori catch for a year. 500 ton. The secret is, what are we going to do about it? Not what we're going to do about it, what are we going to do about it? Because to solve any problems, it's us that's going to do it, not us five up here. Uh, the impact of land use, I'm probably one of the bad ones being a farmer. They said to me, what's your cattle doing in the river? I said, it's hot. <laughs> Why can't they go? And they're thirsty. Uh, oh, bloody hell. Da, 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 da. But that's all right. <laughs> they asked, so I told them. And, you know, the siloed approach to management, and it, we heard it about Quite a bit yesterday. MPI do the commercial dock, do the customary stuff up the river. You're only allowed to catch six. Six not going to feed many, eh, Johnny? <laughs> you and I. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and the silent, that's the silent approach to, to management. Once again, MPI and dock, they must have a secret pool. They think they can manage it, but they can't. Yeah. That's only my opinion, anyway. 
Ora te mana o ngā tuna te rapo, as an advisory to Te Waimari Trust. Yeah. We haven't given a hell of a lot of advice to them at the moment, but I can feel it just welling up. <laughs> Especially after this hui, it's going to come. Um, yeah, we talked about the conference in Wanganui. Um, and what is the purpose? He reo to te tuna. Ensuring the voice of the tuna is heard. And we think we're the voice for now. Actually, we are. We don't think that we are. Hey, Charlie. Is that what they're going on about? The membership is a reflective of the skill sets, experience, and knowledge to champion the purpose of Te Reo Tuna. And we, we're big on uh, local solutions for local problems. So one hat, don't put, don't put at everything. What happens up north, what they need up north, is we will be different to what we want on the river, on our river. It'll be different to what Muruhiku wants, be different to what everyone else wants. So we have to have it generic enough so that they can do what they want, when they want, and how they want. They won't listen to us anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and it's about sharing uh, our indigenous fisheries expertise. He's the experts over here. I just got the big mouth that. Uh, Matauranga, up until now, the Crown has said, Matauranga, you know, go away. But all of a sudden, it's the same word now. It's the same word. And they're saying, oh, what's, mat what's Matauranga? That's what they say, what? What the hell is that? But you know, it's simple, it's why, how we do things, when we do it, and why we do it. Now he's, the, he's probably the most important part of the whole presentation. If Tuna could speak, what would they say? And uh, in finishing, we have vacancy on Te Manonga Tuna. <laughs> yeah. you know, anybody that emails me and says, what the hell are you doing? You should be putting your name forward for this. <laughs> then you can sit with us and say, oh, that's what you're doing. Wow, awesome. <laughs> so um, it, it's on uh, Te Waimari website. Check it out. We welcome anyone and everyone. I think, <laughs> and, it, and it gives you know us to get off and let the new blood come through. And uh, yeah, so that's it, really. <laughs> yeah.